go back with the final installment in the Diary of Books. Diary of a Fly. At least this is the last one I have. And this was the one I was most excited to read to us because flies are a kind of insect. And so hopefully we'll get to learn a little bit more about the life cycle of a fly in this book. Diary of a Fly by Doreen Cronin. Pictures by Harry Bliss. Just like the other two, starts with some pictures. Worm's cap is red. Moldy cheese is so blue. I love my mom and she loves me too. Be my valentine. And it says valentine's card for mom. Worm chewed this for me. Fly girl. Great great grandmother with babe Ruth. If you look close that you might be able to see the fly. My bows. Me as a baby. Sky riding with worm. Worm. And found this cool meteorite. I love this book because it talks about things like found this cool meteorite and it doesn't match the picture because we know more information than some of the characters in this book. Let's see if we can find any more instances of that. Diary of a Fly. June 7th. Tomorrow is the first day of school. I'm so nervous. What if I'm the only one who eats regurgitated food? Regurgitated means that it's been eaten, spit up, and then spit up. So flies kind of eat something, spit it up, and then eat it again. Gross. June 8th. Great news. Everyone eats regurgitated food. Slurp. June 10th. Things you they teach you in flight class. We are the most accomplished flyers on the planet. Our average speed is 4 and 5 tenths miles per hour. Leap backward when taking off. Jet airplane good? Us better. Things they should teach you in flight class. Always have a flight plan. June 12th. My parents left us with a babysitter last night. When they got home, 87 of us were stuck to a strip of flypaper. Zip, thwap, whoosh. Mom says we were a lot easier to watch before we grew heads. Hmm. And look, here's the babysitter. There's a sign on the back that says, kick me. June 14th. Today we practice landing on moving targets. I am standing on her head right now. June 15th. My school picture came out terrible. Mom says next time I better have all my eyes looking in the same direction. Ooh, a kind of compound eye. So an eye made up of lots of different eyes. A bunch of insects have compound eyes. June 17th. My first science assignment is to use my five senses to observe something creepy. I chose a first grader. And then here's Fly's observation. Disgusting. Five senses observation by fly. See, will not fit in jar. Feel, sticky. Smell, not so good. Hear, annoying slurping sound. Taste, not so bad. June 18th. Worm and spider came over today. We used a magnifying glass to take a really good look at ourselves. Look at all these labels. Yogurt, ice cream, Root beer, no idea. Egg, nat juice, dust with milk. Cabbage, orange peel. Dirt, more dirt, still more dirt. Man, we are filthy. July 2nd. I'm making an all about me book for my mom. My life, day one, first day as an egg, me. Day five, first day as a maggot. Huh. Day seven. First day with a head. Worm. Day ten. First day of school. July 13th. I asked my mom why I can't have my own room like Worm. Because you have 327 brothers and sisters. Oh, uh, that's why. I told her we could put half of them in the garage to save space. I'm having a timeout in the garage right now. July 14th. Spider's grandfather is so smart. 
He taught me flies were a very important part of the food chain. Very cool. You're very important. July 15th. Worm sat me down and explained the food chain. That is so not cool. And as part of the food chain, spiders eat flies. That's why they're an important part for spiders. July 16th. The babysitter came back last night. She brought a frog. When mom and dad got home, we were all exactly where we were when they left. Wonder why. July 21st. Why I would make a good superhero. I have the most powerful flight muscles on the planet. Grrr, whoosh! I can land upside down. Flump. I can see in all directions at once. I see you, spider. Spider says, superheroes bend steel with their bare hands. You eat horse manure with your feet. I never thought about it that way. And here, Fi is imagining these. Hmm, I better save those puppies. Moments later, grrr. You're coming home with me, girl. July 22nd. Today I learned that flies beat their wings 200 times per second. No wonder I keep falling asleep in math. And so even though this is a fiction book that is not real, there are some nonfiction facts in it that we can really learn. Flies do beat their wings about 200 times every second. July 23rd. I visited my Aunt Rita today. She's been trapped on the wrong side of a screen for a week. My word, how you've grown, dear. August 1st. I just know I would make an excellent superhero. I have 4,000 lenses in each eye. I can walk on walls. I can change directions in flight faster than the blink of a human eye. Spider said, superheroes save the world from outer space villains. Your brain's the size of a sesame seed. I never thought about it that way. And here again, flies imagining. Z's up, alien gibberish. Moments later, pow, whoosh. Thanks, superhero girl. August 2nd. Today, I told Worm and Spider that I could never be a superhero like I wanted. Worm looked me right in the eyes and said, the world needs all kinds of heroes. I agree with that. Oh, forgot this page. Spider said, I never thought about it that way. Neither did I. Book Report by Fly. Lord of the Flies by William Golding. Hey, nice job. Next time, no doodles in the margin. Mom put this on the fridge. Spider is so good at soccer. Worm tunneled right through this marshmallow. My favorite dinner. Tiny heroes to the rescue, protecting our planet. Wonder Worm helps Earth breathe. Super Spider fights evil insects like a mosquito. Fly Girl, she'll change the future. And pretty. And there's again a page from the book. Hope you guys enjoyed. Wonder which one was your favorite and why. Make sure to share with me which one you liked the best. All right, talk to you guys later, first graders.